Hey guys and welcome back. So today we're doing a hundred years of school lunches and I'm both excited and nervous because I know some of them are bad and some of them are good. Okay, but first let's do a fit check. So first I have my hair in a cute bun and this uniform, so cute. Okay, let's get into the first one. Okay, so here we are in 1910. Let's see what we got. So first we got this corn and a cob. Then we have this like bread and pr prunes and some milk and now we also have like a soup a green soup i'm not excited to try that because that looks really bad but let's try it anyways okay not my favorite it was really bad anyways milk yes that is actually really good i love milk and then my prune i hate prunes no and then bread that's just average and corn yum so i would rate that about like maybe a uh, seven out of ten Okay, so this 1910s lunch was really simple and it only cost only 3p, like 3 pence. That is like so cheap and good, so I think it's really good. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, now let's see what we have here. So we have some rice, some milk and some, I think, stew. But this one's an orange one, so let's try it. Okay, that was actually way better. And now let's try it with the rice and a milk. That one was actually not too bad. Okay, so that one, as I said, was not bad, and I think it was only, like, five pence, so it was quite good, and it was th not that bad, so I rate it, uh, like, a eight. So, this is the next one, 1930s, and this is basically when it was the Great Depression, so this lunch is obviously a bit depressing. I mean, we have a vegetable stew, vegetables aren't my favourite, but, yeah. Oh, that was spicy. Okay, we need to finish this. I have milk to cool down because that was actually so spicy, you know? Okay, milk, my favorite. The bread rolls. I mean, we have those in every, like, thing. And then this. So, that was quite good. In my opinion, that one was actually not too bad, even though it was during the Great Depression. So, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so now we're in the 1940s, we have lots of vegetables and a meatloaf, so those vegetables are actually good, and meatloaf, no, I didn't like it, so I would rate that maybe a 4 out of 10, but let's go to the 1950s now. Okay, so now we're in the 1950s, and my sign deleted for 1950s, so just ignore that, but these lunches started to get a bit more, like, accurate to what we eat today and better. So we had macaroni cheese, which is literally so good, and then we had, like, a tart or a brownie, and then chocolate milk, like, how do they add chocolate milk? That is so good. So now let's move on to the next one, because that one was super. Okay, so here's 1960s. And I still like 1950s better because they had chocolate milk. In here, we have normal milk. So now we have like a uh, spaghetti and we have grapes. I mean, spaghetti and grapes is not that bad, but not together. And then, yeah, so I think it was quite good. Here's the next one. We have a classic sandwich. I mean, quite basic. And then just an orange juice. I mean, that one was quite simple. I liked it and it was fine. So let's move to the next one. Okay, so now we're here at the 1980s and over here I really love this lunch because they added coke. Like imagine having coke in a school lunch, that is so cool. And they also had gummies, like that is so nice. And a burger. Well, I, you can have a burger anyways, but like still this school lunch is gorgeous. And look how yummy these all look. So good and gorgeous. Okay, so I... So, I rate that like maybe a 10 out of 10. Okay, so here we have uh, orange juice and ice pop. And yeah, I don't know why they have ice pop. Like, that's so cool. And a hot dog. Yummy. Like, these lunches are actually getting better. Like, how? Anyways, like, I would literally love to go to school in these times and have these lunches. Over here, we just have a simple pizza and an orange juice. I mean, it's like really simple. So I'll rate it like maybe a seven because it is still really good. Okay, next. So here we're in 2010 and we just have a wrap, but that's not it. Wait. Okay, that's more like it. So we have a milk, a corn dog. I know, I forgot. Um, and milk and ah. Anyways, basically, that was really good. So now we're on the one that you've all been waiting for, 2020. And here we have a chicken, some 
vegetables and uh, orange juice or milk you can choose what one you like i'd say this is pretty accurate i mean it is quite accurate so it's good i don't really like it i mean to be honest i think it got worse when it hit the 2020 but guys that was the end of that okay so since we finished um trying the school lunches now we're gonna try and make our own so here we have milk sweet corn cheesy potato and chicken nuggets i think we should get started and try this i mean this game looks kind of fun so let's start with the milk okay so they have these different milks watermelon strawberry pomegranate and blueberry i think the strawberry looks really nice and plus the other flavors look a bit weird and let's use a pink straw to go with it since it matches okay so next we're gonna put it in a lunchbox i guess i mean it is quite cute um yeah okay so why did not say banana milk i thought we did strawberry anyways now we're gonna do some sweet corn oh so we have three corn on the cobs and we're gonna grate them into a bowl i think okay so let's do all three of them i mean three of them is a lot is it not i mean i don't know guys comment down below if you like corn because i definitely do okay so now that we just finished making the corn i think we're gonna boil it in our frying pan so let's pour the water in okay looking good i mean i feel like the corn is gonna turn really nice okay let's get our corn and pour it inside oh my god i love how it drops so dramatically like that and it just falls in the pan okay now i feel like it's gonna boil oh i can see it's starting to get brown and sizzling now we just have to turn it off okay so now i got a bowl and i'm gonna strain them so they're not watery anymore oh look at that they look so fresh and gorgeous okay now i think we're gonna put it on a plate oh i love how these just turn like so realistic in like five seconds anyways now we're gonna decorate it with sprinkles i've never ever decorated my corn in like sweet sprinkles or anything like that so this is a bit crazy i mean sweet corn and oreo that sounds disgusting but i guess it'll have to do okay so now we're gonna put it in our lunch box as well so let's get the corn out i mean it looks gorgeous like that guys um comment down below if you think i should actually try put sprinkles and oreos on my sweet corn okay guys so now we're gonna make nuggets uh i've never seen making nuggets like this before but i guess this is how they make nuggets in here i guess okay so we're gonna put pepper inside this zip look bag um i'm actually not sure what we're doing to be honest oh i think we're making them from scratch okay so let's put flour and the thing oh what is that sesame salt i don't know what that says guys so you don't judge me okay let's close that sucker up and yep. now let's shake my screen up so that it can be good okay i can see progress oh i know it's like literally going like that okay gorgeous okay now oh we're cutting this uh, where did the knife just go wait how are we gonna cut that oh my gosh okay i found this new school lunch app i mean it looks more trustable than the other one and yeah okay let's try this so it's like basically the same but this one we have a hamburger and i'm gonna be making a chicken patty since i prefer chicken to all of these other ones okay let's get making okay so let's get our chicken patty and now we're gonna get a bowl with milk wait what why do we need milk guys i didn't really cook that often so i didn't really know we need milk in a burger with chicken anyways then we have some worcester sauce i didn't think i've ever had that before i don't know anyways then we're gonna crack an egg i mean i'm not the best at cracking eggs i always get the shell inside yeah i'm not that experienced cooker anyways then we add our onions and salt and garlic and pepper yummy i can already tell these patties are gonna be full with flavor 
Okay, now let's mix that up. I actually really like this, like, cooking uh, app because, like, lots of other ones don't let you do lots of it. But this one, you can do, like, a lot of it and it's like you're in charge. Okay, so now we got to squidge these out into circles. Can't lie, these actually don't look good. But that's because they're not cooked. So let's get into cooking them. Okay, so now we got our hob and our frying pan and we're going to pour our oil. I don't get why it's in a jug. Why can't we just use a normal bottle? Anyways, let's put that patty in and I hope it gets looking better. Oh, that already looks better already. Okay, other side. Mm, let's put it on our plate and I'm assuming we're doing another one now. Okay, these look good. I love burgers, guys. Comment down below if you like burgers too and how much out of 10 you like them because for me, it's 10 out of 10. And the final one. Mm, this is making me hungry, guys. Anyways, it looks really good. It's so scrum diddly Oh, these actually look so good and realistic. Okay, here's our burger bun. Let's cut that open. Add our patty fatty inside. Now we're going to do cheese because cheese on top. But they blocked all the nice cheeses. Like, I'm not watching no ads for cheese. Anyways, we're going to use our rolls because these are kind of cute. And then we're going to use um, tomato and potato. I don't really care, guys. Okay, so we're going to add lots of these. Oh, that looks like a sweet corn from the other game. And now let's just layer it. Okay, now it's time to eat it. And I'm really excited. So let's just munch that really quickly. Guys, look at my moves. Like, how quick I'm eating that. Like, this was a huge burger. And I just finished it and maybe, like two minutes no not even two minutes 10 seconds less than 10 seconds even guys we're finished we're done and now for the milk so this is probably gonna be quick because like i didn't know if they're gonna get a cow oh apple milk what i've never seen apple milk before i'm not sure apples produce milk but same with strawberries don't produce milk either apple milk okay well that's our meal bye guys love y'all